The book of Leviticus outlines the meticulous system of sacrifices in biblical tradition. Among the animals deemed acceptable offerings, doves held a unique position. Often depicted as symbols of purity and peace, their presence in sacrificial rituals deepens the theological complexity. The question arises, why were two doves often required? And what did this duality signify in the grand tapestry of biblical symbolism? The dove, with its gentle nature and mournful coo, has long been associated with spiritual themes. In the biblical narrative, doves appear in key moments, from the story of Noah's Ark to the baptism of Jesus. Their presence, particularly in the context of sacrifice, prompts a closer examination of their symbolic weight. What messages were being conveyed through these offerings, and how do they illuminate the relationship between humanity and the divine? Our exploration will delve into the historical and linguistic nuances surrounding doves in biblical sacrifices. We will uncover the cultural context, analyze the gender implications in the Hebrew language, and examine specific biblical narratives to gain a comprehensive understanding of this potent symbol. Through this journey, we aim to shed light on the multifaceted meanings embedded within this ancient practice. The number two holds particular significance in biblical numerology, often representing duality, division, or witness. The requirement of two doves in certain sacrifices amplifies their symbolic meaning, hinting at a deeper spiritual truth being conveyed. Was it simply a matter of practicality, or did the duality of the offering point to a more profound concept? The Bible itself provides clues, with verses like Leviticus 12, 8 stating, and if she be not able to bring a lamb, then she shall bring two turtles, doves, or two young pigeons, the one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. This distinction suggests a separation of purpose, with each dove fulfilling a specific role within the ritual. Furthermore, the pairing of male and female doves in sacrifices adds another layer of symbolism. This gendered aspect, rooted in the Hebrew language, hints at a representation of wholeness or completeness in the offering. It also raises questions about the specific roles assigned to each gender within the sacrificial system. By unraveling the symbolism of two doves in biblical sacrifices, we gain a deeper appreciation for the intricate tapestry of meaning woven throughout the scriptures. This exploration will unveil not only the cultural and historical context of this practice, but also its enduring relevance to our understanding of faith, sacrifice, and the divine. Long before the Israelites codified their sacrificial system, doves held a prominent place in the religious practices of the ancient Near East. From the fertile valleys of Mesopotamia to the sun-drenched plains of Egypt, these birds were revered for their gentle nature, mournful calls, and remarkable homing instincts. Their presence in ancient art, literature, and mythology speaks volumes about their cultural significance, often linked to themes of love, fertility, and divine communication. In ancient Mesopotamia, for instance, doves were closely associated with Ishtar, the goddess of love and war. Depictions of Ishtar often included doves, symbolizing both her nurturing aspect as a fertility goddess and her fiercer side as a warrior queen. The dove's ability to both soothe and inspire awe resonated with the dualistic nature of this powerful deity. Similarly, in ancient Egypt, doves were linked to Horus, the god of kingship and the sky. Horus was often depicted with a falcon's head, but doves were considered to be sacred to him, symbolizing peace and reconciliation. The Egyptians believed that doves, with their ability to fly between heaven and earth, could carry messages to the gods, further solidifying their spiritual significance. This reverence for doves extended beyond the realm of formal religion, permeating everyday life in the ancient Near East. Doves were often kept as pets, their cooing sounds filling courtyards and homes. Their images adorned pottery, jewelry, and other household items, serving as constant reminders of their cultural and spiritual importance. It is within this rich tapestry of beliefs and practices that the Israelites, inheriting centuries of tradition, incorporated doves into their own sacrificial system.
The concept of purity played a central role in ancient Israelite religion. Sacrifices, in particular, were seen as a means of atonement for sin and impurity, restoring right relationship with God. Animals chosen for sacrifice were carefully selected based on their perceived purity and symbolic value. Doves, with their white feathers and gentle demeanor, were often associated with purity and innocence, making them suitable offerings for certain types of purification rituals. Leviticus, the biblical book outlining the intricacies of the sacrificial system, specifies doves as acceptable offerings for individuals who could not afford larger animals like lambs or goats. This accessibility suggests that the symbolic significance of the dove transcended its monetary value. It was not merely a substitute for a more expensive offering, but held its own unique place within the spectrum of sacrificial practices. The dove's association with purity extended beyond its physical appearance. Its mournful cooing was often interpreted as a form of lamentation or repentance, aligning with the contrite spirit required for atonement. The act of sacrificing a dove, then, symbolized a surrendering of impurity and a seeking of forgiveness from God. Furthermore, the dove's ability to fly high above the earth, soaring into the heavens, may have also contributed to its symbolic association with purity and spiritual ascension. Just as the dove ascended towards the heavens, so too did the smoke and aroma of the sacrifice, carrying with it the prayers and repentance of the offerer. In this way, the dove served as a tangible link between the earthly realm and the divine, facilitating communication and reconciliation. In the ancient Near East, deities often embodied both masculine and feminine attributes. This duality permeated religious thought and influenced how people understood the natural world, social structures, and even the divine realm. Animals, often imbued with symbolic meaning, were frequently categorized according to these gendered characteristics, further reinforcing the prevalence of this binary framework. Doves, with their gentle nature and association with love and fertility, were often linked to feminine qualities in ancient Near Eastern religions. Goddesses like Ishtar in Mesopotamia and Aphrodite in Greece were frequently depicted with doves, highlighting their nurturing and life-giving aspects. However, the symbolism of doves was not exclusively feminine. In some cultures, doves were also associated with masculine deities, representing qualities like peace, wisdom, and divine communication. For example, in ancient Syria, the god Hadad, a storm deity, was sometimes depicted with doves, symbolizing his power to bring both destructive storms and life-giving rain. The Israelites, influenced by the cultural milieu of the ancient Near East, incorporated these gendered understandings of animals into their own religious practices. While the Hebrew Bible does not explicitly ascribe gender to the Holy Spirit, the use of two doves, often understood as male and female, in sacrifices hints at a possible acknowledgement of both masculine and feminine aspects within the divine. Throughout the Old Testament, the imagery of the dove is frequently employed to represent the Israelites themselves. This connection speaks to the tender relationship between God and His chosen people, often described as one of love, care, and longing. Just as a dove, known for its faithfulness to its mate and its gentle nature, so too were the Israelites considered precious and beloved in the eyes of God. The prophet Isaiah, in a poignant passage describing the future restoration of Israel, evokes the image of a dove returning to its nest. Who are these that fly like a cloud and like doves to their windows? This beautiful metaphor captures the deep longing for the return of the exiled Israelites to their homeland, finding peace and security under the wings of God's protection. The dove's vulnerability also serves as a reminder of Israel's fragility and dependence on God, just as a dove relies on its wings for safety and its nest for shelter. So too did the Israelites depend on God's guidance and protection throughout their history. The psalmist, reflecting on the Israelites' deliverance from Egypt, describes them as a dove covered with silver and her feathers with yellow gold, highlighting their preciousness and the miraculous nature of their survival. This symbolic connection between the dove and Israel adds a deeper layer of meaning to the sacrificial offering of doves. 
It suggests an act of surrender and dependence, as the Israelites acknowledge their need for God's forgiveness and grace. By offering these gentle creatures, they were essentially offering themselves, placing their trust and hope in God's unwavering love. The frequent requirement of two doves in specific sacrifices, as opposed to a single bird, further amplifies their symbolic significance. This duality, deeply rooted in biblical numerology, suggests a division of purpose, each dove embodying a distinct aspect of the offering and highlighting the multifaceted nature of the act itself. As we've explored, the dove symbolized Israel, God's chosen people. Therefore, the two doves could represent the two facets of their covenant with God, their striving for righteousness, and their inevitable failings. One dove, then, represents the offering of sin, acknowledging transgressions and seeking atonement. The other embodies the burnt offering, a symbol of dedication and commitment to living in accordance with God's will. This dualistic interpretation aligns with the instructions outlined in Leviticus 12, 8, where two doves are specifically designated for separate purposes, the one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. This distinction underscores the intentional separation of roles, each dove playing a crucial part in the process of seeking forgiveness and reaffirming the covenant between God and His people. Moreover, the symbolism of two doves extends beyond the immediate act of sacrifice. It foreshadows the coming of Jesus, who embodied both roles in His sacrifice on the cross. As both the perfect Lamb of God and the ultimate sacrifice for sin, Jesus fulfilled the symbolic representation of the two doves, bridging the gap between humanity and the divine. The dove's significance in biblical symbolism reaches its pinnacle in the New Testament, particularly in the narrative of Jesus' baptism. As Jesus emerges from the waters of the Jordan River, the Holy Spirit descends upon him in bodily shape like a dove, Luke 3, 22, marking the beginning of his public ministry and solidifying the dove as a representation of the Holy Spirit. This iconic image, forever etched in Christian art and imagination, transcends cultural and historical boundaries. The dove, a symbol of purity, peace, and divine presence, becomes inextricably linked to the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity. Just as the dove descended upon Jesus, so too does the Holy Spirit descend upon believers, bringing comfort, guidance, and empowerment. Furthermore, the dove's gentle nature reflects the Holy Spirit's role as a comforter and advocate. Jesus, in his farewell discourse to his disciples, promises to send another helper, to be with you forever, even the Spirit of Truth, John 14, 16, 17. This promise finds its fulfillment on the day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit descends upon the disciples, empowering them to continue Jesus' ministry and spread the gospel message. The dove's association with new beginnings and hope also resonates with the Holy Spirit's transformative power in the lives of believers. Just as the dove brought Noah a sign of hope after the flood, so too does the Holy Spirit bring hope and renewal to those who embrace faith in Jesus Christ. Through the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, believers are empowered to overcome sin, experience spiritual growth, and walk in the fullness of God's purpose for their lives. Unlike English, where nouns are typically classified as masculine, feminine, or neuter, the Hebrew language operates on a binary system of masculine and feminine genders. This grammatical distinction permeates the biblical text, influencing how we understand not only human relationships, but also the nature of God and the spiritual realm. The Hebrew word for dove, yonah, is inherently feminine adding another layer of complexity to its symbolic representation in biblical sacrifices. The feminine gender of Yonah invites us to consider the dove's symbolic attributes through a different lens. While doves are often associated with traditionally feminine qualities like gentleness, nurturing, and peace, the Hebrew language suggests a more nuanced understanding. The feminine principle in Hebrew thought encompasses not only these characteristics, but also strength, wisdom, and even fierce protectiveness. Moreover, 
The feminine gender of Yona should not be interpreted as limiting the dove's symbolic representation to strictly feminine realms. In the Hebrew Bible, God transcends human gender categories, often described using both masculine and feminine imagery. The dove, therefore, can represent aspects of the divine that extend beyond human constructs of gender, encompassing a broader spectrum of spiritual qualities. Understanding the nuances of the Hebrew language, particularly its approach to gender, is crucial for interpreting biblical symbolism accurately. It challenges us to move beyond simplistic interpretations and embrace the rich tapestry of meaning woven throughout the scriptures. The creation narrative in Genesis establishes the foundational understanding of humanity's relationship with God, particularly the concept of being created in the image of God, Genesis 1, 27. This profound statement has sparked centuries of theological debate, exploring the implications of this divine imprint on human nature and purpose. The creation of both male and female in God's image further complicates this concept, suggesting a multifaceted reflection of the divine within humanity. While some interpretations emphasize the spiritual or moral qualities reflected in humanity's creation in God's image, the Hebrew understanding encompasses a broader view. The Hebrew word for image, zelem, suggests a physical resemblance as well, implying that humanity embodies both the physical and spiritual aspects of the divine. This duality is further reinforced by the creation of both Adam and Eve, reflecting the male and female aspects present within the Godhead. Furthermore, the Hebrew word for God used in Genesis 1, 27 Elohim, is a plural noun, hinting at a plurality within the Godhead. This plurality, while not explicitly defining the Trinity as understood in Christian theology, suggests a complex and multifaceted understanding of God that transcends human limitations. The creation of humanity in God's image, then, reflects this divine complexity, encompassing both masculine and feminine attributes. The symbolism of two doves in biblical sacrifices, particularly in light of their feminine gender in Hebrew, aligns with this understanding of a multifaceted Godhead reflected in humanity. Just as Adam and Eve together embodied the image of God, so too do the two doves represent a complete and balanced offering, encompassing both masculine and feminine aspects of the divine. The concept of intercession, of a mediator standing between humanity and God, is central to biblical theology. From the patriarchs of old to the prophets and priests, individuals were chosen to intercede on behalf of the people, seeking God's mercy and guidance. The offering of two doves, particularly in the context of purification rituals, takes on a deeper meaning when viewed through the lens of intercession, pointing towards the ultimate intercessors, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. The two doves, often understood as representing male and female, prefigure the dual roles of Jesus and the Holy Spirit in mediating between God and humanity. Jesus, as the Son of God who became flesh, served as the perfect sacrifice for sin, bridging the gap created by human transgression. The Holy Spirit, descending upon Jesus at his baptism and empowering his ministry, continues to intercede on behalf of believers, guiding, comforting, and empowering them to live in accordance with God's will. This understanding of the two doves as representing Jesus and the Holy Spirit finds further support in the story of Jesus' presentation at the temple. Luke 2.24 states that Mary and Joseph offered a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons, fulfilling the requirement of the law for the purification of a mother after childbirth. This offering, while seemingly ordinary, takes on profound significance when viewed through the lens of Jesus' future ministry and the Holy Spirit's role in empowering it. The two doves then become a powerful symbol of God's plan of redemption, foreshadowing the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus and the ongoing work of the Holy Spirit in the lives of believers. They remind us that we are not alone in our journey of faith, but have access to divine intercession through the Son and the Spirit, who stand before the Father on our behalf. The sacrifice of two doves takes on profound significance within the context of the offering for the firstborn, a ritual deeply embedded in the fabric of Israelite tradition. 
This offering, rooted in the Exodus narrative and the deliverance from Egypt, served as a powerful reminder of God's covenant faithfulness and the sanctity of the firstborn son. The dove, often associated with purity, innocence, and new beginnings, adds a layer of hope and redemption to this ancient practice. Leviticus 12 outlines the specific instructions for the purification of a woman after childbirth, culminating in the offering of a lamb for a burnt offering and a dove or pigeon for a sin offering. However, for those who could not afford a lamb, the option of offering two turtle doves or two young pigeons was provided, ensuring that all families, regardless of their economic status, could participate in this important ritual, demonstrating God's compassion and inclusivity. The offering of two doves for the firstborn, rather than a single bird, emphasizes the dual nature of the sacrifice. One dove, the burnt offering, represents consecration and dedication, acknowledging God's ownership over the firstborn son and surrendering him back to the Lord. The other dove, the sin offering, acknowledges the inherent imperfection of humanity, seeking atonement for any impurities associated with childbirth and restoring right relationship with God. This ritual act foreshadows the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus, the true firstborn Son of God, who was offered as both a sacrifice for sin and a dedication to God's will. Just as the two doves represented both atonement and consecration, so too did Jesus embody both roles, bridging the gap between humanity and the divine. Beyond the specific context of the firstborn offering, the sacrifice of two doves played a crucial role in various cleansing rituals outlined in the Old Testament. These rituals, designed to address different forms of impurity, highlight the pervasive nature of sin and the ongoing need for atonement and restoration. The dove, with its association with purity and spiritual cleansing, served as a powerful symbol of God's mercy and grace, offering a path back to wholeness and fellowship with the divine. Leviticus 14 details the elaborate ritual for cleansing a person afflicted with leprosy, a skin disease that carried significant social and spiritual stigma in ancient Israel. The ritual involved a complex series of actions, including the sacrifice of two live clean birds, cedar wood, scarlet yarn, and hyssop. One of the birds was slaughtered, its blood used in the cleansing ceremony, while the other bird, dipped in the blood and then released, symbolize the carrying away of the impurity. The two doves in this ritual, though not explicitly designated as burnt and sin offerings, embody a similar duality. One dove represents the act of atonement, its blood signifying the cost of cleansing and the shedding of blood for forgiveness. The other dove, released into the open air, represents the removal of impurity, the restoration of wholeness, and the hope of a fresh start. This concept of dual doves representing both atonement and cleansing extends to other purification rituals as well, including the cleansing of a house afflicted with mildew and the cleansing of a person who has recovered from a bodily discharge. In each case, the sacrifice of two doves highlights the multifaceted nature of purification, encompassing both the forgiveness of sin and the restoration of wholeness. Section 3, Noah and the Dove, A Covenant Renewed The story of Noah's Ark, a foundational narrative in the biblical tradition, offers another compelling example of the Dove's significance within the context of covenant and redemption. As the floodwaters recede and the Ark comes to rest on Mount Ararat, Noah releases a Dove to assess the state of the earth. This simple act, laden with anticipation and hope, reveals the Dove's symbolic role as a harbinger of peace, renewal, and the restoration of God's covenant with humanity. Genesis August 8, 12 describes Noah sending out the Dove three times. The first time, the Dove finds no resting place and returns to the Ark, signifying the ongoing presence of the floodwaters and the incompleteness of the Earth's restoration. The second time, the Dove returns with a freshly plucked olive leaf in its beak, a tangible sign of new life emerging and hope for a future beyond the devastation. Finally, the dove does not return, indicating that the waters have fully receded and the earth is ready for re-inhabitation. The dove's role in this narrative extends beyond its practical function as a scout. It embodies the hope and anticipation for a renewed covenant with God, a fresh start for humanity after the judgment of the flood. 
The olive branch, a symbol of peace and reconciliation, further reinforces this message, signifying God's willingness to forgive and restore His creation. The dove's association with the Holy Spirit in the New Testament adds another layer of meaning to this story. Just as the dove brought Noah a sign of hope and a promise of renewal, so too does the Holy Spirit bring comfort, guidance, and the promise of a new creation to those who place their faith in Jesus Christ. The dove's journey becomes a powerful metaphor for the spiritual journey of believers, seeking hope and renewal in a world often characterized by turmoil and brokenness. Section 1. The Enduring Symbolism The dove, a creature of remarkable resilience and grace, holds a place of profound significance within the tapestry of biblical symbolism. From the ancient sacrificial altars to the pages of the New Testament, the dove's image has endured, its meaning evolving and deepening through the centuries. As we've explored, the dove's presence in biblical narratives, particularly in the context of sacrifice, points towards a multifaceted understanding of God's relationship with humanity, encompassing themes of purity, peace, covenant faithfulness, and ultimate redemption. The dove's association with purity and innocence made it a fitting offering for purification rituals, symbolizing the desire for spiritual cleansing and a right relationship with God. The requirement of two doves in certain sacrifices, often understood as male and female, hints at a balanced and complete offering, representing both the acknowledgement of sin and the striving for righteousness. This duality foreshadows the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus, who embodied both roles, bridging the gap between humanity and the divine. Furthermore, the dove's connection to the Holy Spirit, particularly in the narrative of Jesus' baptism, elevates its symbolic significance to new heights. As a representation of the Holy Spirit, the dove embodies comfort, guidance, and empowerment, echoing the promise of a renewed covenant and the ongoing presence of God's grace in the lives of believers. Section 2. Beyond the Ritual While the practice of animal sacrifice may seem distant and even perplexing to contemporary readers, the symbolism embedded within these ancient rituals continues to resonate with profound meaning. The dove, as both a sacrificial offering and a representation of the Holy Spirit, invites us to consider the ongoing relevance of sacrifice in our own lives, not in a literal sense, but as a posture of surrender, humility, and dependence on God's grace. The dove's gentle nature challenges us to approach our faith with a spirit of humility, recognizing our need for God's mercy and forgiveness. Its association with peace calls us to be instruments of reconciliation, both in our personal relationships and in a world often characterized by conflict and division. And its image as a harbinger of hope, as seen in the story of Noah's Ark, reminds us that even in the darkest of times, God's promises remain, offering the possibility of renewal and a future filled with hope. The symbolism of the dove, therefore, transcends the confines of ancient rituals, inviting us to embrace a deeper understanding of our own spiritual journeys. It challenges us to examine our own hearts, to seek forgiveness for our shortcomings, and to open ourselves to the transformative power of the Holy Spirit. Section 3. A Timeless Message The enduring symbolism of the dove in biblical narratives serves as a testament to the power of imagery and metaphor in conveying profound spiritual truths. These ancient stories, passed down through generations, continue to speak to the depths of the human experience, offering guidance, comfort, and a glimpse into the very nature of God. The dove's message, woven throughout the biblical narrative, is one of hope, redemption, and the unwavering faithfulness of God. It reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles, but have access to a God who hears our cries, offers forgiveness for our transgressions, and empowers us to live lives filled with purpose and meaning. As we navigate the complexities of our modern world, may the enduring symbolism of the dove continue to inspire us, guiding us towards a deeper understanding of our faith and drawing us closer to the heart of God. May its message of peace, purity, and unwavering hope resonate within our hearts, empowering us to live as beacons of God's love and grace in a world desperately in need of both.